Hi friends, welcome back to the channel, Creating with Sarah. So today's video, I have some new planner items that are launching with Avery and collabed with Amy Tangerine. So if you guys wanna check out these new planner products, then keep on watching. Hey there, welcome to my channel. I'm Sarah, all things creating, planning, yet keeping things fun and functional here on my planner channel. And today I have for you some exciting new planner products that was collabed with Avery and Amy Tangerine was invited to this launch party and supporting Amy is always fun. I love her. She is like the craft queen. <laughs> Super excited that she collabed with Avery and they have come out with some new fun planner products. This cute little basket here is adorable. This is kind of like the little goodie bag and it was in California and I think it just kind of goes with it because it's super cute and I'm definitely thinking, you know, I could take this to the beach with my kids um, or to the pool and just put like my planner items in here. I think this is adorable. Um, I'll try to put some clips in to share with you some of the highlights from the launch party, but I'm gonna just go ahead and take everything out. Okay, so they are launching lots of great planner goodies. You have some writing tools, of course you have these tabs that you can find at any office supply store or your local grocery store if they carry Avery. Um, this one is actually a collab with Amy Tangerine here up at the top. Um, you can follow both of them on Instagram and I believe they both have a YouTube channel. So if you want to get to know Amy a little bit more. Um, but these are really cute. These are the Ultra Tabs two-sided writable smudge free. Um, and what's great about these is that you can use them for bookmarks in your planners and I believe they're really great for just repositioning them. <laughs> I also use them for um, my cookbooks. If I'm meal planning or anything, I kind of tab um, popping them into my planner because they are repositionable. So I think they're super cute. I love the fact that they have like this uh, paint splatter on them and you can basically use them for any like paper planning that you're doing or again if you're reading and you want to bookmark a page so these are the ones that are collabed with amy and they have like a little paint splatter on them um these are fun these are the smaller ones these are the um colorful ones and you get 40 in this pack you get 24 in this one so again these are really fun to just tab out places in your planner Okay, then we got some writing tools. So they're coming out with writing tools. I should say where you can find these items. So these you should be able to find like in your office supply store or definitely Amazon. I'm gonna put a link down below um, that you can shop to on Amazon and to theaverystore.com. So they came out with some writing tools. So we have a uh, wet erase marker fine tip three pack in black. We have dual tip markers, fine chisel tip, and a six pack, and these are in, you know, um, the rainbow color. It's kind of like Amy's um, signature. So we have fuchsia, orange, yellow, teal, sky blue, and purple. And they're water-based ink, no bleed. So we'll test those out. Actually, I used some of these. They had like a little workshop where everyone took their planners and started working in it. So I'll show you. Um, some things that I have done in my planner at the launch party. Okay, and then this is the dual tip markers, um, fine chisel tips, kind of the same thing here, but in black and you get three to a pack, which I have to say these were really nice. I remember using these as well. So I haven't had a chance to use the wet erase markers, but there is like a fun planner accessory. Um, that's why they made these. So we have some markers that are coming out. And um, here we have, you kind of, if you know Erin Condren, you kind of um, have seen something like this. So this is the adhesive corner pocket two patch, which is really nice that Avery's doing this. And I hope they continue to make these because you don't see a lot of the like accessories like this um, that's available for planners. Um, so I love the fact that they're coming out with something like this. So this is, again, it's kind of like the Erin Condren ones because I'm not sure how long Erin Condren is gonna have their adhesive pockets. Um, if you shop for them, you know that those are always out of stock because they're super popular. It could be a manufactured thing, you know. I know that, you know, after 2020, there was a lot of finding things to uh, manufacture things, but these are a little different. Let me try to figure this out. So I was having a hard time finding the opening. 
because of the white backing on this. Okay, so they are clear pockets. It, um, it's against the same thing, but it has more of a round edge here. So a little bit more of an opening. And again, it's just an adhesive um, clear pocket. And this is like a large size, I would say. And they both have Avery embossed, embossed here at the bottom. It's like a, a bare print. I should say a naked print. I like that factor so it's not like full with color. Um, sometimes I'm, I have a preference when brands put their brand name all over the packaging or item. Um, but yeah, two large corner adhesive pockets, which I think are very great for building your planner, sticking st stickers in them, um, just reminders. I love having extra accessories available to um, set up my planner with. Okay, they also came out with um, a fun sticker book. So this is Plan a Life You Love, infused with creativity into your everyday um, planner with fun stickers. So we have 744, that's 20 sheets. And here's the back side. And they also have these stickers out for everyone to use in their planner. Oh my gosh, I love that this is a booklet. Now to say how long this this will last, um, it you know just depending on how you know you carry your planner supplies with you, you toss them in your bag, um, you just open them up and use them quite often. Like this, these sheets may come out, but I think the perfect thing about this, it looks like a four by six size, so. All those photo albums, and again, using these adhesive pockets, you can just pop those in nicely. So this is quite a bit of stickers. So we'll go ahead and flip through this. Again, this is collab with Amy Tangerine, so you'll see a lot of her signature design in here. And I can tell you that some of these stickers are like a glossy, not fully transparent, but they have like that thin, transparent, like sticker, feel which honestly I'm okay with as long as they don't rip sometimes they, they rip easily so you can see that it's not fully transparent but it's that sticker finish if you're familiar with that so it does have like a glossy um, surface and I love the bird the bird is my favorite so we have like some cute deco elements we have some quotes um, a lot of it looks like Bujo doodling as well. Um, so up here you have like um, goals, happy day notes, working on it, new stuff. So some um, functional headers and then some fun ones. Again, it's still like that glossy feel, super cute. Definitely gives me Amy Tangerine um, vibes and then, you know, back in her scrapbook days. So I love it. I love these little doodle icons here. Again, a lot of it is like just more for fun and decorative. It looks like some of these you get two pages. This one you get two pages. Again, got some quotes. It's it's stickers like these, like these little ones, are really fun to fill up those white spaces. And if you do a lot of journaling, um, these stickers are really great for, for that. Again, you, you journal and then you fill in those white spaces with like these cute little stickers. Super fun. And you can tell like some of the finishes are a little bit different. Like this is more of a glossy paper. This is where we get into like a glossy paper. Um, really cute. Yeah, they're two different types of stickers. So we have glossy paper and like a glossy uh, translucent sticker. And you get two pages to some of these designs, not all of them. I think this is really fun, especially on the go, especially for summer around times like this for like journaling and things like that. So this is really cute. I love this sticker book. 
And then here is the dashboard. Um, so you'll notice that this is gonna be like a spiral bound um, type of planner. And this is really cute. Okay, so typically you guys know that I have tried to use dashboards or laminated uh, planner um, tools like this. I'm trying to get into it, but most of the time I just, it's more of like, I would use this as a reference page because I'm just, I don't know. I don't go and do this like all the time, you know. It really just depends on the person, but this is really cute. I love how this is laid out. It has priorities, notes to do, and ideas. So this would be something you could do monthly if you're someone like me and doesn't do this on a daily basis. Um, so you could either do this weekly as well, um, but I think this is cute. And on the back, actually you could put a picture here and a little note or a quote that's your favorite or a Bible verse or something, some type of in inspiration. I love that she just put like a piece of paper and a little washi um, up there and I love the color around it. I just really love Amy's aesthetic, so I think this is adorable. Um, so we'll have to try it out with the wet erase markers and kind of pop this into the planner. So let's get into the planner. Okay, so here is the planner that they are launching. Um, it is a planning calendar undated 12 month. It includes tabbed monthly calendars, but again, it's undated. Um, this is a weekly horizontal. It has some sticker sheets, it has a um, pocket in the back and extra note pages. So there were, I think, four different cover styles. And I'll again, I'll try to put in clips or you can definitely follow me on Instagram. I did put a reel together. From what I saw, I think it's all horizontal plan planners that they came out with. And it's a little bit of a different horizontal um, layout that I'm used to, but Let's just go ahead and flip through this. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this off. And I'll try to put the price in the video as well. So this is the planner that I picked. I just love the whole ink, watercolor, paint vibe. I love art, it's just so pretty. And here's the back side, and on the bottom it says Avery and Amy Tangerine. And then the inside covers are both the same, which I like. And I, you know, I like that the outside's different. And I like that it doesn't have any quotes or anything. That's kind of why I picked this one. But they did have other ones that were really pretty. All right, so here's the cover page. You'll notice it has like a, um, a cutout kind of heart here. And it has some of Amy's signature uh, design here. I believe she also came out with some stamps with Altenew, so these look familiar to me. Um, so this is actually on the page. I put my name in here with those markers that we talked about, and then these were um, Uli markers, which are really cool. I do have a set of these. Um, they kind of they're kind of like the Erin Condren where they change colors. I actually have them right here. So these right here. Um, where you can draw and then you use the other side to reveal the other color. So those are super fun. I did like a little rainbow and then I used some of those stickers. Okay, make sure you guys can see this. So again, it's the same um, on the other side, and this says year at a glance. Um, I was just using some of the mixed media that they had. They had like, uh, I think they're called gesso. They're like a, kind of like a Crayola. Um, I actually forgot that I had some of these. I just haven't dabbed into my craft world <laughs> in a long time. So um, I had fun using these and they had washi tape and they had little Instastat cameras where everyone could take a photo and just have fun um, journaling and putting together a inspiration um, kind of spread or just a moment at being together in that day. So um, yeah, that's kind of what we did here and just used some of the things from the launch. I took a little photo and yeah, these are really cool. They're kind of like water-based, so you um, kind of use them dry and then you add water and it dries pretty quickly. So the pigment is really great. So first I want to share with you guys the dividers and you'll notice that these are 
These are different colors of the rainbow and they are laminated. So this is like a thick paper. And then this part here is a laminated tab, which is really nice. And so I'll just go ahead and flip through um, each little divider design. I believe this one is my favorite. I love this one because it's it gives you the creativity to um, like watercolor or use any of your favorite markers that you have. I love this. I think I would have loved this even more if it had a, um, a couple of these pages in here because I'm someone who does love that side of creativity. Um, hence my name creating with Sarah. I like to share more passion and keeping things more creative yet functional for you in the sense of planning. So I just love that. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you the layout from here. So it does have a monthly at a glance. And again, this is undated and you'll see that here up at the top, it is in Amy's handwriting. It's more of like a brush lettering. And yeah, so you can either use some stickers, which let me jump ahead and see. Okay, so this doesn't come with dates, I don't think. Okay, doesn't come with dates. So it does come with a sheet of stickers. Um, so you have your tab stickers here, and then you have appointment, urgent, vacation, meeting, day off, and then some of the calendar holidays. And these are paper stickers. But again, you can save these and use them for something else if you have your own stickers um, monthly dividers, but you will either have to get some date stickers, um, which I've mentioned at Michael's, they have some calendar sticker ones, um, or you can definitely write it in. So you do have a side column here for notes that's dotted line, and it does start with a Sunday start. I typically, I think I've always used a Sunday start, honestly, because I like starting my week off with a Sunday. <laughs> Okay, so here is the weekly spread, and this is considered a horizontal spread. Now, two things. This reminds me of a teacher layout and a block layout. Um, a block layout, like a student block layout that Happy Planner has done. So you have seven empty blank headers up here for you to customize yourself, and then you have the days of the weeks here. Now, Saturday and Sunday do share, so this is something a little tricky um to plan and then you have on this side this page you have thoughts here at the bottom so i don't know about this this is the only thing that i'm like this is too small of a space but again if you're using this for like work or school then maybe this is just a kind of a, a prep list of busy during the week and then you have your Saturday and Sunday it can give you a glance at what's going on this Saturday and Sunday kind of like how I used a vertical the compact vertical and I have that customization like blank space and I use it for next week's so it's kind of just like a heads up of what's going what's coming this weekend type of thing and then you can also just stretch it over and then cover up this thoughts if you needed more writing space but this is, this is interesting. It's a different type of layout, to, uh, horizontal layout to me. But I think this is has potential uh, because it has like a color block and you have your own headers here up at the top. Um, so yeah, I think this has potential and I can't wait to um, start planning in it. And I will definitely give you guys some updates on that. Um, but yeah, that's what the weekend spread looks like and it corresponds with the divider tab color. And I love the paper is thick. It's not too thin. I really, really appreciate that. So it's not like um, typical paper that you would see in like maybe Target planners. Um, so, or Walmart paper, this is a lot thicker. And I think because again, it does come with like these extra note pages and sheets for you to do what you will with it. Um, you can journal, you can make some memory pages. Um, and I think because Amy uses a lot of mixed media in her planning style, that that's kind of maybe why they gave thick paper, which I appreciate. So um, here are your beautiful note pages. These have more of like an ombre on the inside of the planner spine here. This one has lines. It's really cute, I love it. And then you have blank pages. 
And then again, those um, sheet of stickers. And then this is a double-sided uh, laminated pocket there. So that's pretty much how this planner is laid out. Again, here's that weekly page and it is the same color as the dividers. So also you have that same page, like a blank page. So you don't have like a currently dashboard page before each month. This is for you to do whatever you want with it. You could bullet journal your own currently dashboard page. Again, you could use it as a memory page or journaling page or a goals page. So if you love color and you love this style, you will enjoy this and I think um, it'll bring you so much like joy and smile because anytime I look at this, knowing that I did this and this was fun, that I had time to do this because right now I haven't had time to do like creativity things like this, it really, really um, gives me joy. So I love this. So again, make sure you check out um, the links down below so you can see what other covers they had. Really quickly, we're gonna test out some of these pens and then this dashboard. So again, this is something like Erin Condren where it like pops in the spiral here. So it just snaps in like that and I actually put mine up in the wrong spot. Okay, there we go. Kind of gotta kind of hit it in the right spot. I kind of just take it like this and bend in the middle. Yeah, so you can pop that in and out and use it for each month. And let's kind of, let's use these wet erase markers. What I also love about, or appreciate about this packaging, I noticed that this is dark blue, these are gray. So this lets me know that this is a different type of marker. I don't know, I just noticed that, that they did that. Okay. So here is the pen. It's a fine tip. It's kind of got like this circular barrel in your hand. It's a little bit of a short marker. It definitely looks like a wet erase marker. And there's the tip. It's kind of like a fine tip. It has like a round nub there. Here's the top. I like that the top's clear. Okay. To do, let's see. Film. So it's pretty black. Wow, that's pretty black. That's nice. And then wipe it away. I honestly don't even have anything to wipe it. I don't know if. Okay, yeah, well, let me try to find something to wipe it with. Okay, I was able to find this rag and I use this water for like water coloring, that spray bottle. So if you use Sharpies, you can probably still use Sharpies. Again, with Sharpies though, you have to use alcohol base to get that off. Um, I'm just gonna put, I'm just gonna draw a heart real quick. And try that again. Okay, yeah. So they work perfectly fine. I'm just gonna clean it up a little more. All right, those are the markers. I think they're pretty cool. I don't see anything wrong with them. Just your standard wet erase markers, but I do love the packaging. Here are the black dual end markers. Comes in a fine tip. I like the clear caps. And then a chisel tip. It does say Avery on it. It's in like a foiling silver. And I'm gonna use the fine tip. This starts on a Saturday. Yeah. So they're definitely like a marker base. I always have to flip this on the side. Oh no. Okay, I have a problem. Go to another month because we run into a problem. So this only went up to, to 
29 and July goes through 31st. I mean, I'd have to carry it over to the next month. Okay, well, if you guys have solutions <laughs> and I'm missing something, leave it in the comments down below. Then August would start on the Tuesday. And August goes to the 31st as well. Wait, August is fine. You could do that if you started this in July. You could split this box. Put If you wanted to keep another day on this glance. Or you're going to have to carry this over. So July will have to carry over. Um, but August fits here. Hmm. I don't know what happens when you run into something like that. When they, when you, when you have an undated planner, I think. So, so that's the chisel side. It's definitely like a marker base. I think it's not pure black, but I like the way they write. They're really nice. And then here are the color ones which I think are fun. And if you don't have any colored set, I think a planner should always have a great colored set. And why not have it where it is a double set? So it's like chiseled and then the fine tip. All right, I'm gonna swatch all these out. Okay, those are the colors. I think they're really pretty. I think they're true to color and they're not too fluorescent and they're a little bit mild. So you could use these, I think, as a highlighter. They'll work well as a highlighter and not just a writing tool or using them for journaling and doodling and things like that. Um, I think this one though, it looks more red in the, in the packaging, but I think it pulls more pink to me. And I had a little hard time with the, um, it's probably just me, but I had a hard time using the chiseled side of that one. That's why I did it a couple of times. So yeah, those are the new Avery markers and pens. I'm I'm excited that they came out with these and hopefully they are local to like your, you know, office supply store or whatever. I just think it's great to have something like this available, you know, in store, but you can buy them online and I think they're coming to Amazon, so. That is the whole collection with Amy and um, Avery. Let me know what you guys think. If you're thinking about picking one up, maybe trying out a new spread or maybe just some of the new um, accessories that came out. The fun new sticker book or an accessory pocket. Yeah, thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe, I'd love to have you here and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, stay safe and happy planning. Bye.